Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett Live, where I help tech work for you. And today I'm going to be talking about the Lenovo Smart Display. This is all about having the Google Assistant in a display. So um, we've had the Google Home, the Google Home Mini, Google Home Max, and then other third-party Google Assistant devices. But this is the first device that has the software of the Google Assistant on a screen and on a smart display. So Google is the one that created all the software and Lenovo is the first one that came out with this option in the display. So really excited. Um, so here we do have a question. Valentin asks, when will it be available in the US? It currently is available. So I already picked it up in uh, at Walmart. Actually, you can go and pick it up. I'm not sure when it's going to be coming from other or going out to other countries. But right now you can get it. Um, you can also get it from Costco, Lenovo's website, from Best Buy, many other locations. So some of my favorite things that I have been using on this is my smart control, um, just asking a question and giving a response. So in today's video, I will be using the activation commands, the hot words, because there's no way for me to mute it while I'm going live. So if you have a Google Home nearby, you may want to mute that. So uh, let me show you how home control works real quick with this thing. Turn the office lights red. Okay, changing nine lights to red. So there it changed the lights. And then on here, I have a control panel where I can actually see all the different colors of light. So if I wanted to change it to pink right here, I select that and it would change it to pink. Over here, I have blue. And then down here, I have some green options. Um, and then if I wanted to change the brightness, there we go, now it finally changed. There's the blue. If I wanted to change the brightness of all the lights in this room, I do have that option. There we go, now it says it's on. And I can adjust the brightness down and I can turn the brightness all the way up. So that's one of the things I've used a ton on this device. Um, we go now they're back on all good to go oh back off so yeah i've been using a lot for home control i really like that so then here we have another question by coding with the lads welcome uh does the chromecast also support google assistant so the chromecast i have a chromecast ultra back in here chromecast ultra or chromecast um they both do have parts of google assistant built in so there is a feature where you can ask it to show you the weather. Show me the weather on the Chromecast Ultra. Right now in Linden, it's oh, 87 and sunny. It just played on here. Oh, there it goes. So up here, you can see that it showed the weather there. Now, if you are in YouTube, you can do the same thing and it will show you different uh, videos popping up. And here you can see there's a little Google Assistant icon. So it has parts of the Google Assistant, but that's because of the Google Home. So it can show certain information, but it's not fully built in. I think it would take too much data or um, what is it? internal storage to store the whole Google Assistant on the Chromecast where the Chromecast is simply going to pull other information into the device. So I, would, I think that would be really awesome to have it fully integrated into a Chromecast, but right now the smart display or a Chromecast and a Google Home or like a Google Home Mini connected are the best options there. So price point, um, Frank's asking on the smart display. So right now, the price for this one, this is the 10 inch model and it costs $249. And then there is an eight inch model available from Lenovo that will be 199. Now, if you're wondering the difference on size between the eight and the 10 inch, I do have a little eight inch tablet here that I showed in my review. And that can show you kind of the difference between the two displays. So here again, 10 inch right there. And here you have an eight inch display. I'll get this booted up and show you some color on it in a minute so you can see a bit of a little bit more comparison between the two. Okay, Alexander is asking, can you create a group with the Google Homes? So right now, um, it's not possible with the smart display and the Google Homes, but it should be coming eventually. This has the support for a group multi-room audio, essentially. So you could pair this and a Google Home and a Google Home Mini all in the same group. So it's playing music on everything. But right now, the software just isn't supported to be able to do that, but it should 
be coming soon through an update or whatever. But um, yeah, I, I was bummed to see that not working currently, but it should be coming down the road. So here you can see um, eight inch screen. This is an eight inch tablet versus the 10 inch Lenovo smart display right there. So the eight inch will have the same type of speakers on the side, but they're a little smaller. So these are, uh, I believe two inch speakers. There's two of them in here. And then on the eight inch version, there'll be 1.75 inch speakers and there'll be two of them as well. So it won't output quite as loud, but it should be um, pretty close to what we are currently hearing with the Google Home or here on the Lenovo smart display. So Jack is asking, how do you use YouTube on the Google Assistant? So all you would need to do is ask your Google Home to show you something on the Chromecast device. So right now I can say, show me videos by Tech with Brett from YouTube on Chromecast Ultra. Sure, here are some options showing on Chromecast Ultra. So now it's Which one would you like? Now it's showing them and it's waiting for me to respond on a number so that it can select one of those videos. Number four. Which one would you like? Oh, it stopped. Cancel. Or thank My you. My apologies. I don't understand. Sorry if that stopped your stream. But yeah, that's how it works. You can ask for like top videos, certain channels, and then you can scroll through and see other YouTube videos. And then you say the number and it will start playing the number on that Chromecast, which is pretty fun. I've really enjoyed being able to do that. I hope that they would add more things like Netflix and other um, supported formats on the Chromecast with the Google Home Mini being able to do that. But right now it's currently weather and YouTube as far as I know, unless you guys know anything different. All right, next we have uh, Basil. Basil, how do you connect all this together? I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about. Um, if you're wondering about my stream, I'm using a connection called, or a program called OBS, where it is pulling in the camera and then it's pulling in my microphone and then you can start streaming right live to YouTube from that. Pretty cool. Um, so we'll see how this turns out and uh, in the end, looks pretty good so far. Pretty excited about it. All right, on the Lenovo Smart Display, if I ever, this is like my homepage um, that it was showing. If you ever wanna go back or leave what it's doing, you can just swipe over and it will go to this black page. But there I can pull up the different picture. And then I can also swipe over if I wanna see different pictures. There's an ambient mode where I can change to clocks or I can change to my own personal photos. Maybe we'll dive into that in just a second, actually, let's do that. Let me show you some of the clock options that you have available. So you control it all through the Google Home application on your phone. So I'm just going to go in here, open the Google Home, and just like other um, Google Home devices or Chromecast devices, you have an ambient mode. So here we're gonna choose clock. And then it's showing me all of these different clock options that I have in this so now let's choose um, this clock. I have noticed sometimes it takes a minute for it to go over there. Let's see if I select done. If it updates it. Clock. Let's try another one. There we go. There is the clock now so you can see one of those, here's another one, the flip clock light. Then we have the flip clock dark, the analog clock dark, and then we have these other ones, it's called world clock dark where it shows you the time like this. So 2.54, kind of a cool way to look at the time on your display. Now it will consistently show the time like this and until you have the lights turned off. So I have the ambient mode turned on or the auto brightness turned on. So when the lights are off, it completely dims the screen and then it just shows the clock in the corner. So it's not consistently showing a screen all night long, um, but that's what happens when you turn off the lights. All right, let's go through some other questions. Does it support Android applications? So it does not support Android apps. So the 
operating system or the software inside the Lenovo Smart Display is kind of like sort of Android and Chromecast mixed together. So as you can see on some of the picture menus, it looks like a Chromecast, but then it has little different menus, but there are no applications built into the device. It just pulls certain information that you may need to know. So it's gonna show you calendar events. You can watch videos on this. So you can actually watch YouTube right on the Lenovo Smart Display. You can also cast from your favorite either video apps or music apps right to the Smart Display without having to um, look at your phone or use your phone to be able to do that. You would just go into the app on the phone and then you can cast it onto here. So here on the menu, let me show you. Let's see. So here's like the main menu. There's no apps on here, but there are a few different recommended things that I could do. So one of them is it's showing me upcoming events that I have. Over here, it's showing Google Play um, playlist or albums that are recommended for me. Here it's showing Pandora, some different YouTube, and then here it's giving me recommendations on things that I could ask my Google Assistant. And then over here on the end, there is a menu. So if I tap on here, it's going to explore many of the different things that you can use with this. So here it says that I could play music, I could set alarms, I could play videos, I could find re recipes, and then when you open one of these, it will show you more information on what could be asked to your Google Assistant with the Smart Display. So one of the cool things is being able to set a timer. So let's set a quick timer right now. Set a 30 second timer. All right, 30 seconds, and we're starting now. There you go. So while the timer is going, it's gonna show this timer on screen until the timer is finished. So that's really handy when you're cooking. You don't always have to keep asking what or how long is left in the timer. This will just pop up. All right, um, next question we have on here. So co um, coding with the lads, what's your specific question? Why can't it play on it itself? So here now, if I wanted to, so I was using the Chromecast, but let's say I wanted to play something on here. All I need to say is play Tech with Brett from YouTube. Sure, playing tech with Brett from YouTube oh. on Chromecast Ultra. Pause. I think because I've set the Chromecast Ultra or it's remembering the Chromecast Ultra, it's playing back there, but it should play right here on the screen. Um, let's try, let's do it the other way. Just real quick. I'm gonna go into an app like YouTube, and then I will cast to this. So this is always available. All I need to do is press on kitchen display, that's the name of it. And then I would need to go to one of my videos and play a video, and then it will play right here on the smart display. Today we're gonna to move the Google Home aside and try the newest smart speaker in town, the Lenovo Smart Display. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. So typically when you play a movie or ask it to play a video, that's what will happen. It's not going to play to your Chromecast. I just have it set as default to play on the Chromecast up there. Hopefully that answers your question. Sorry, it's kind of a little confusing that I have so many Google devices, Chromecast, Google Homes, I had to mute my other Google Homes in here because I knew they would keep going off. Um, but yeah, I have quite a few different ones there. Um, hey, Davey, you are welcome for streaming. I'll try and do this a little more often. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you'd like to see this more regular, now that I kind of have some sort of setup, I think I, I would like to try to do this more. So I'm just working out how to get it done. Awesome, gross technology, welcome. So excited to have you here. Um, let's see, should I buy this or a tablet? So Mason asks, um, should you buy the smart display or a tablet? Now a tablet, um, of course, tablets have been around for a while. They have a full operating system. So with a tablet, you have all kinds of different apps that you can use, open up, and um, they sync with your phone and other devices, and you can take it anywhere. And the battery life is quite long. So this is more of a, how do you say this? Like 
helping you in your home without having to pull out another device where the tablet is the on the go solution. So if you are looking for something to be able to use apps like YouTube and other devices away from your home, definitely a tablet is going to be of use, especially if you're trying to create things or do documents. This doesn't have a keyboard. This doesn't have um, any of those apps that you can open up. It will just be like a display of information. So I really like having this because maybe I don't wanna pull out my phone or find my tablet. Maybe my tablet's not even charged. This is sitting there always available for me to use um, any time just there. So definitely if you want a little more usage out of it, I would say get a tablet as that is going to help you um, accomplish more things at one time instead of just having it display um, your next calendar event, set reminders, or add things to like a shopping list. Um, that's one cool thing. Let's try that out right now. Add cake to the shopping list. Okay, I've added cake to your shopping list. So when you ask it to do that, it's gonna pull up your full shopping list right here. So I could also check off things. So let's say I ended up buying cake. I could come in here and check it off. Or if I found something that I didn't need on my list anymore, I could just swipe it away. So we no longer need bread. I can just swipe that item away. And so I really liked how you have access to that list. Very simple. Don't need to pull out my phone, open the Google Express app, or go into the Google Home app. It's just right there available. Since this is my kitchen, I'm finding new things that I need to add to the list. It's always available right there. So I really enjoyed being able to do that. Um, Jack, this is like my third stream, but maybe my first successful dream or stream. Um, I had two others. One just didn't work and was super laggy. And then uh, I may have deleted another one. I can't remember. So does it work with Spotify? Valentine asks. Yes, it does work with Spotify. So I could set this as my default or I could set Spotify as my default service or I could just ask it to play a radio station from there, or I can um, cast from my phone to the smart display. Play Matt Carney from Spotify. Should I still play that on Chromecast Ultra? No. Here's a Spotify station featuring Matt Carney. So there you go, starts playing, no problem. Um, I don't have premium or anything. So it's just going to play the radio station that it finds that's closest to what I asked it to play. But if you had premium, you would be able to ask the exact song or the album that you would like to see. So does it work with Google Play Music? Yes, it does work with Play Music. That's what I typically am using. So like I just asked Spotify to play uh, Matt Carney, it played whatever. But now if I say play Matt Carney Crazy Talk from Google Play Music, It will Can then I still play that on Chromecast Ultra? No. It will then load up the exact album that I asked it to play or the exact song because I am a Google Play Music subscriber. Oh, it's still listening to me. Cool demo. Sorry. Do you want to play Crazy Talk on? All right. But it, yes, it does work. All right. Um, next one. I lost track of where I am. Here we are. So does it use Netflix? Um, this is asked again by coding with the lads. As of right now, it does not support Netflix. Not sure why. Um, you can't even cast from your phone to it. Sure, it's something that Netflix just needs to adjust. I know Netflix wants to be on every single possible device. So I, I can see it coming in the future, but right now it doesn't. Um, just one of the things I haven't talked about yet is here you do have volume buttons at the top and you have the mute switch. Over here on the side, you do have a camera. So you have a five megapixel camera where you could make a Google Duo call. So I could actually turn off the camera if you're really concerned about privacy. There I can turn off the camera so nobody could call, or if somebody calls me and I answer, they can't actually see me. So it puts a little hard piece or hard plastic piece over the camera. So it completely locks it out, which is a pretty cool um, thing to have on this device. If you're concerned about the privacy of it seeing you or listening to you, you the can turn off both of those options right there. The mic's back on. 
Um, somebody asked earlier where I got this. I did get it from Walmart. So it was available here um, in Utah where I'm at. So let's see, if you cast something from the phone to it, can you control the content by touching? Yes, you can. So I did just do that with uh, my own video from YouTube. Let's show you again. So I'm casting from YouTube on my phone. And so here I have all the touch control options. I can play, I can go to the next video that I want. I could do closed captioning. Um, I have all of those options right there. I can even skip forward through the display there. Um, one of the cool things, so if I wanted to just watch YouTube right on the display and I'm not casting it, let's stop my cast. Um, I think I just closed it out. But I could just say, open YouTube. Sure, here's YouTube. So there it opened a YouTube app essentially, and it's showing my top recommended solutions or my top recommended videos right here on the top of YouTube. So I don't, I don't know what's going on there, but all kinds of different videos available. And maybe that's just like top trending videos. I'm not even sure if it's recommended for me. All right, um, who let the dogs out? It wasn't me. <laughs> Must have been somebody else, I, James Webb. Must have been somebody else. Do you think it will work in Denmark? I'm not sure. Um, I did hear or I did see a lot of different blogs over in the UK talking about this device, but I could not find any answer to will it work over there. Um, it, that's been one of the hard parts about the Google Home. I do a lot of videos about the Google Home and you guys are all mad at me because it's not, the features aren't supported in other parts of the world. And I know Google works hard to get them available pretty much everywhere it can, but um, they are usually available here in the US first and then they come out in other locations. So not sure how to answer that question. If you can buy it locally, I'm sure a lot of these things will be supported, but it would be similar to the Google Home in support. So if you can use Spotify in Denmark with your Google Home, then it should work on the smart display when it becomes available. If you go to, I'll have to link uh, below the Google Home support website, you can actually go on there and at the bottom of their website on different features, there's a language. So if you change the language, to your language, it would let you know if that feature is currently available in your country. So that goes for the Google Home, and I'm sure that will go with the Google Smart Display once it comes out more fully. Um, no Hangout support, yes. Yes, that is correct. Um, there is no Hangout support. I haven't tested this, but there is a way to cast a live stream from Hangouts to a Cast device, so like a Chromecast and I'm sure it would work on this. I just haven't tested that, but I can't start a conversation with um, somebody else that I have in Hangouts via a video chat right now. Only Google Duo calls are supported on the device. Um, all right, one other question. When I first tried this, um, I did try Routines. So Routines is the function where I can have it do one thing and then, it, or ask it one little question and it will do many things. At first when I tried it for some reason, that command didn't work, but I tried it again and routines do work no problem on here. Um, but again, depending on the country you're in, it may change support. Carlos, hey, what's up? He says, hello, Brett. Um, will you get Discord? Should I? Let me know. I have heard about it and tried to figure out how to use it. I just hadn't had the time. Um, okay, gross technology is talking about showing the weather. Um, it will actually make it sound cool or whatever, whatever the weather is. All right, let's try it out. It's a pretty sunny day out there. So let's see, what's the weather like? Currently in Linden, it's 87 and sunny. So we had birds chirping Today, in the background. it'll be sunny with a forecasted high of 90 and a low of 59. Pretty cool. So it's got those little sounds. Um, I definitely will have to try those during a thunderstorm. When it snows this fall, that will be fun to see. Um, maybe it starts snowing on here. But I can go over and see um, the next day, the next 24 hours, I guess, what the weather or until tomorrow. 
at 7 a.m. what the weather is going to look like. So a pretty cool little weather dashboard right there. <laughs> Mon Mon Montuena, thanks, don't give up with YouTubing and you will make 100,000 soon. You are too cool. Well, thank you. I appreciate you joining me. Um, just can't believe how many people are here. Very excited. So I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, yeah, we'll get there together and it's going to be exciting. Uh, hopefully lots of videos coming soon about all kinds of topics. Typically, I'm all about Android, Google Home, Google Assistant, uh, Chromecast, Smart Home, as you can see all my lights. Um, if you do want to leave a super chat, I think if you Leave like five bucks, it changes the lights in the background. We might have to test that out. Um, yeah, maybe another time. Maybe now, if you want to, we can do it. Um, yeah, silver play button coming soon. Watch out. Hopefully, my goal is this year. So um, whatever we can do to make that happen, that'd be awesome. Um, Venom asks, how much does this cost? I kind of already answered. It does cost 249 for the 10 inch, and it costs 199 for the eight inch model. And those are US dollars. James Webb asks, if I, the, if I ask the Google Assistant about the weather, it just plays nursery rhymes on my YouTube. <laughs> um, I think that's a glitch that's kind of odd. Um, actually, speaking of that, when I ask nursery rhymes on here, I was thinking it might show some different pictures. Let's try it out. Sing me the ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, right. Just H, F. Pretty basic, um, but this is pretty cool. Repeat after me. Thanks everyone for joining my stream today. Thanks everyone for joining my stream today. It turned into a parrot like it was repeating me. It's pretty funny, right? I liked it. Change the lights, bro. Oh my gosh, did I really get a super chat? Kyle Butler? What? Well, I don't even know if I have a $10 thing on there. What what color do you want the lights to be? I'll change it to anything you want. I don't know why, uh, yeah, the, the $10 didn't work. I'll have to figure out how to make that happen. Turn the office lights to orange. You got it. Changing nine lights to orange. I think that's what was supposed to happen, but it looks like I need to figure that out in the um, in the settings through IFTTT. Kind of cool. Yeah, so um, it's through IFTTT. That's actually how it happens. I just may have not had the settings right. Maybe I have it linked to the wrong account or the wrong lights, something like that. Um, Jack says green. On behalf of Kyle, I'm going to change it to green now. Set the office lights to green. You got it. You Changing it. nine lights to green. So on here on the smart display when doing home control, I really like the menu that it shows. So here it's showing a menu for all of the office lights. So let's try real quick. I'm just going to turn off the lights and see how that goes. Turn off. Turned those lights off. I don't know why these other ones aren't turning off. Turning on. I have the brightness controls right here. So I can turn up the brightness a little bit. And then over here I have the, con the color control. So I could change to all the colors that are showing up right here on the menu. Turn the office light to yellow. So here I can just go through. I can find, oh, there's a goldish color. There we go, kind of bright. The, the ones behind the TV, they're only blue. They don't change color. I, that will change soon though. I'm going, I just got the Philips Hue. Just got some Philips Hue lights, so I will be doing a review about those. Um, I have lights, I have the light strip, and some other things, so that will be coming soon. Soon. Okay, when you when you did under five, they should turn back to blue, but it's not working. I don't know why. Thank you, Gross Technology, for the four dollars and ninety nine cents super chat. Super appreciated. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back and figure out how to do that. But you guys are totally awesome. Just can't believe that. Um, let me know how I can help tech work for you. Check out Gross Technology, shout out here for him. Um, he's all about teaching others and showing you how to use some stuff. 
um, tech stuff. So he has uh, some Google Assistant video tutorials. So make sure you guys go and check him out as well. So thank you for the super chat there. Okay, let's go back to a few other questions here. Um, let's see, Jordan asks, asked to play Ed Sheeran on Google Play Music. All right, play Ed Sheeran on Google Play Music. Should I still play that on Chromecast Ultra? No. No problem, playing Ed Sheeran on Google Play Music. There you go. Pops up Google Play Music. When your legs don't right work now. like they used to before. Just like that. Pause. I can go to the next song. Pretty easy. Skip through. All right on the smart display. So the speakers on here compared to the Google Home. Let's grab it real quick. Ugh. My decked out um, Google Home here. So here there are three different speakers on the bottom. Don't know if you've ever pulled that off to see. But you got these three different speakers. And here it has two speakers built in to the smart display and then that magnetizes right back on but between the two i noticed that they're very similar um, they were able to output just as much sound as one or the other on the smart display right now there are not um, you cannot use the different controls the equalizer controls so i can't change the bass or the treble on this yet but i can do that on the google assistant um, so that is nice to be able to do or on the Google Home. But um, I really like the sound, works great. Um, we have this in our kitchen up against a wall and it's able to send the sound out to the whole room. And we were dancing just as good to this one as we were the Google Home. So there you go, Jordan, hope you enjoyed that. I can't play music on her for very long so it doesn't break copyright. Um, there you go, you got a quick little option, all right. Shaji asks, how do you play YouTube video? So just the same way, you would just ask it to play any type of video. Play Tech with Brett Edge Lighting from YouTube. Should I still play that on Chromecast Ultra? No. No problem, here's Tech with Brett Edge Lighting on YouTube. So there it's gonna pull up my video. It found the exact one that I wanted it to play and it's going to play right here on the screen. This is the Samsung Galaxy S9, and in this video, I will show you all the updates, changes, and solutions on how Pretty to use sweet, edge huh? lighting. Let's get started. <laughs> so, I don't know why it pulls up that menu a little bit long for me. I wish it hid the menu a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, you can ask any YouTube videos, pop up on screen, just like that. All right, so let's see. Um, will we be covering the JBL device? So there is a new device coming out this fall called JBL Link. And is what it will do is it has a Android T, it's a soundbar where it has Android TV built into it and the Google Assistant. So you could cast to it, you could, uh, we'll see if it has a smart display like this, not sure on how that's going to work. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be picking that up. Um, looks like we have a mouse here. This is Adele, everyone. Say hi, Adele. Hi. Do you like having the smart display? Yeah. This thing. What do you like to ask it? Uh, play Kids Bop. Play Kids Bop. We listen to Kids Bop all day long. So that's some of their favorite things. Um, what else? Oh, you can broadcast on it and it will show up like a little notification bell, which is kind of cool. And then it'll send your notification to all the other rooms. All right, you wanna go sit over there? Yeah. All right, have fun. Um, if you wanna see more of Adele and her sister, you can check out Kids Ask Google Home. They have a bunch of things they asked. The Google Home is pretty fun. Um, they ask animal sounds. Oh, that's a good thing to do right now. Let's ask it, what animal sound? Elephant. What does an elephant sound like? So there it gave you the elephant sound with a picture of an elephant. Pretty amazing, I know. All right, we've got a bunch of more questions coming in here. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to check out the JBL link. Um, hopefully coming out soon, I'll let you know once I get that. 
Um, do I know if Google is making their own device? I have not heard. Um, usually in the fall, Google has an event. So that's usually where they announce their pixels, their phones. That's where they announced um, the availability of their Google Home device. So I think two years ago, they announced the Google Home in October and it officially came out in November, right before my birthday, I got one, picked it up, pretty awesome. So we'll find out in just a couple of months if there will be one available um, for that. Okay, next, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, you can. Next we have a lot of people asking for me to have it play different things. When asking Google for a channel on YouTube, it automatically plays one of their videos. How could I fix this? Um, like what you're asking, what type of YouTube video? So I would say when you're asking for a video, ask it to play the channel and then the name of the video you would like, or you could just have it play videos by whatever channel you want it to play. Maybe it doesn't support the channel page. Oh, so yeah, as, as far as I know, there's no way to see the channel page, but if I say, show me Tech with Brett videos. Oh, so there it played over here. Um, but I have seen it where it will show like my main page and then it will show other videos that I have. Can't remember how I got that to pop up, but there is something like that, but not like the full page you would see on the web or on your application. Um, so I may have to do a tutorial on using YouTube just on this. <laughs> kids bop. We need to find some new music, I guess, for the kids. Um, does this display something for broadcasts? Yes, it does. Broadcast dinner time. It's dinner time. All my Google Home's going off. So there, there was a little notification bell. Um, pretty fun to be able to see that. What TV is behind you? Jack asks. It shows me, or this is the uh, Samsung Curve 48 inch. I'm not sure on the model. Uh, it's a smart TV, it's 4K. It looks really awesome. Um, do you know if it shows traffic today by Google? I know that it will show you, if you have a work location set, it will show you how long it's gonna take you to get to work in the morning. It will just show like a little time, um, but I haven't tested that out too much on this device. I'll have to look into that maybe a little bit more. What happens when you say, take a picture? Take a picture. I can't take photos yet. It can't take photos. Sorry, that was a little quiet. Um, let's see, ask it to dance. Sing and dance. First, we need music. Here's some sukus to shake your groove loose. All right, it didn't do any dancing on there. Can you do a backflip? On the website wikihow.com, no. they say, in order to pave the way for a smooth backflip, so sometimes um, when you ask like just any question, it will pull up this little screen of a lot of text so that you could read it as well. Um, I've heard a few people that have um, maybe some disabilities. This has some great accessibility features for them. So you can actually turn on closed captioning. So if you can't hear what it says, you could actually just read the screen of what the assistant is talking back to you or, or telling you. So that's one of the reasons this device might be very handy is if you need some extra enhanced accessibility features. And uh, let's just go into the Google Home app. I wanna show you guys um, this is that you can actually change those settings right here. So if I go in here and I go to accessibility so one of the ones is you can have it play a sound at the start or the end of your request. Um, here you could turn on talk back. Here you have an option for color correction. So let's go back to the home screen here. So you can invert the colors, looks kind of crazy. So I, I don't know why you'd need that. Um, you can magnify the screen apparently when you triple tap. And then you can use two fingers to move it around. So 
if you need that option, that's there. That's pretty cool. And then you triple tap to go back. Um, you do have closed captioning on here and you can customize the text and you can have it limit certain colors the the red, green, blue, yellow. So yeah, some pretty cool accessibility features. Let's turn those off. What time is it? It's 3.26. There you go, shows a little timer over there, 3.26. Um, so Skib Films 2 is asking about when it asks to show Tech with Brett videos, it randomly plays one of my videos without showing a list. Is there a setting I could do for this? Is that when you are trying to play from your Google Home to your Chromecast? Um, or is it when you're playing on the smart display? Uh, I don't believe there is any setting. I have a video about how to have it show you things on your Chromecast, so I'll have to maybe send that to you. But yeah, you should just use the show me command and then it will do that. It will show you a list of what I have done on my YouTube right on the Chromecast. So not sure if there is anything you can change to get that to work. All right, can you download third-party apps? So there are not third-party apps available to download, but you can use all the third-party actions that are available with the Google Assistant. So um, if you are using like there's an app called Forget the Milk, or if you are using any of those other extra apps, like there's a seven minute fitness app, you can use that on here. It will just show you the text on screen instead of actually um, pulling up like an actual application. So it's like what we had on the Google Home, but just displayed on the screen. I'm sorry, why so serious about making your devices go crazy? In the beginning, I mentioned how I have no way to actually um, mute the device or mute me talking, so you get to hear all of those. A list of videos page like it showed on the TV. So, all right, let's do that one more time. So here I'm gonna use, if you had a Google Assistant and a Chromecast, you can do this. Show me Tech with Brett videos on Chromecast Ultra. All right, here are some options showing on Chromecast Ultra. Which one would you like? Show more. All right. So yeah, here it's showing my latest recent videos from YouTube and it gives you a number. And then here you have some options. You can go back, show more, or only show videos. Um, but yeah, that's all you have to do. It should work on a Chromecast or Chromecast Ultra. Um, might be depending on the country you're in. So if you are not in the US, possibly it might not work. Um, but if you are and it's not working, uh, I would have you reach out to Google Home Support. They have a website where you can um, let them know your issue and they can run you through maybe how to fix that if it's not working. But yeah, that's what should happen when you say show me. Uh, so then I'd say show me Tech with Brett from YouTube on the device's name. So um, here I said show me Tech with Brett from YouTube on Chromecast Ultra and then it popped up. Um, Jack asks, I need your help factory resetting my phone. I have a video all about that. Um, search Tech with Brett factory reset and see if you can find it. Um, if it's iPhone, it might be a little bit different, but on Android, I have it for a Samsung phone. Ask Google Play Kids Story. Is that a, is that a third party app um, or are those are songs? Hmm, something oh. went wrong. Try she's still she's still listening to me. I can just swipe away. I'm gonna change this back to the ambient mode. Adele's saying hi, everyone. Say hi. Hi. Alright, we're gonna change this settings. Ambient mode. She found out that she is in the camera. Over there on my other computer. Um, and if my camera dies, this stream will stop. So hopefully that doesn't happen anytime soon. All right, I just changed this. I don't know why it's not updating yet to the pictures. I've noticed that takes some time. Not sure why it's doing that. Okay, a few more questions here. Um, 
Let's see. Show me its settings in the Google Home app. You know, I'm going to do a full tutorial about maybe the settings of the Lenovo Smart Display, um, just so I don't have to show you guys here on screen, um, so I don't have to edit any of the information out. But uh, there are a few limited settings. So here, let me just pop it up. You can pair, um, you can change the name, you can set your alarms, you can change the ambient mode, accessibility, and you have night mode. And then you can lower the volume um, while like the Chromecast or while it's listening to you. So it would lower your Chromecast while this is listening to you. You can turn off, let others cast media. You can pair a Bluetooth device. And then you can also choose a default music speaker or a default TV. And then you can turn on do not disturb as well as change from 12 hour to 24 hour options. So those are the main settings that you would have there. And then at the top, you have all the like music, home control, shopping list, voice match, all of those settings. Um, yeah, when it comes to Romania, that would be awesome. Hopefully, hopefully soon, just because of me, well, you're welcome because it's going to change your life. It's going to be awesome. Wait, you could try push mute on OBS. So you could press the space key. Oh, my computer's too far away. I get that's a good option. I could try to do that um, next time. Um, Jordan asks, "Sing happy birthday." It's a good idea. Hey, sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, check you. it out. Happy birthday, birthday cake. to you. Happy birthday to the most amazing person in the universe. Whoever's birthday is today, this is for Happy you. Happy birthday to you. <sighs> Didn't blow out the candle. Good idea. That's fun. Um, when the feed just cut, it would, but um, it's just over there. I'm not sure. I don't want to pause it or stop it then it might stop the whole stream or it might cancel my audio and then I would never get it back. So I'll have to test that out for the next time I do one of these videos. Because um, on the other Google Home, I could just tap the screen and have it listen to me, but I can't do that on here. So like on the Google Home, I can hold down on the top and it will start listening, but with this, I can't do that. Um, I wish there was a way to say disable while we're watching tech with Brett. That would be really cool. Um, yeah, so I'll review just rubber asks if I'll review the JBL link when it comes out. Definitely will. Looking forward to that device. Um, we haven't heard much info. Um, yeah, sorry. It reacts to your device. In my other videos, I mute every time I say the hot word to activate this. But watching a video, you would have to mute it yourself. Um, Rick asks, what are we doing here? We are um, learning all kinds of information about the Lenovo Smart Display, and we're here to help others. That's why we're here on this earth. So help somebody out today. Um, ask Google to sing a song. I've done that. Can it send te text? No, it cannot send a text. It can't send messages other than a broadcast within your home. It can't do that. It does have full calling functionality. So if I wanted to call somebody in my contacts list, I can ask it and it will call. Or if I wanted to use a Google Duo call so it could do a video chat with somebody else right here on the video. Um, can you make it order from Amazon or the Apple Store? No, <laughs> but you can ask to order from Costco, Target, and Walmart. So what should I shop for? Somebody let me know um, something I should look up on here and we could test that out. All right, let's try this one real quick. Read a story for kids. Sure, here's one from Story Nori on Google Play Books. It's called Hansel and Gretel. Story Nori presents so this is Hansel a, and Gretel. So that's a third party app where it can, or I think they're built in now that you can actually listen to um, different stories. So there's just pulling up Google Play Books and going to read you a story. There's no on-screen interaction with that. All right, order a Bluetooth pineapple key, pineapple, <laughs> Bluetooth keyboard, pineapples, pasta. Um, I love pineapples, so let's try that out. Order a pineapple. Sorry, 
sorry. I can't order fresh fruits. Can you order. Do you want me to add pineapple fruits. to your shopping list? Yes. Sure. I've added pineapple to your shopping list. Order a Bluetooth keyboard. Here are the most popular results for Bluetooth keyboard on Google Express. So there you go. It's going to pop up some Bluetooth keyboard options. So I can see what device it is. I can see the price and the manufacturer and then where it's going to order from. So here it's showing a bunch of recommendations from Walmart. And here this one, $27 from Logitech has 1000 reviews. So definitely something you might want to check out. You can scroll through and see the list of these other devices. So let's go ahead and select that option. So there it's going to give you more info. You can add it to your cart. Um, there it's saying that it has free delivery. Um, if you order over $35, maybe it gives you a little description and then you can pop up bigger images of the device. So if I wanted to shop for this, I can see more about the product. Something I would probably use a lot more on the smart display than with the Google Home because I can actually see what I'm going to purchase. So that will work with Costco, Walmart, and Target. Um, I think there's some more support. Anything through the Google Express app should work. All right. Um, would I say this is the best Google Assistant enabled device with a screen? Besides smartphones, of course. Um, yes, because it's essentially the first Google Assistant with a screen. Um, that was asked by Amazing Arts. And I like I love the voice interaction with the Google Home. This having the screen built in really adds just another way to interact, which is really cool. Having the Google Home and by then the way, the mic's off. Having the Google Home on. and then Slide the, the, the Chromecast the has done really well, but there are just not enough support on some of the applications that I'm always using. I'd like to see more of that. So this definitely has pretty much all in one. Um, I'm really excited about everything this can do and it's only gonna get better. Since the Google Home came out, we've seen a ton of different updates on what this can do. And so I know that's going to be happening with the smart display as well. We'll be able to see all kinds of features come in, features come in the future. Um, All right, well, I think that's most of the questions I want to answer. Just make sure you guys didn't have any more. Um, one more here. And uh, let's be quiet over there so they can hear me. All right, um, any, any way of ditching the embarrassing hot words? Probably not. Google's pretty firm about keeping it. I even made a joke about using Yo Google and that was denied in one of their commercials, kind of funny. Um, didn't the JBL link view come out before this one? No, so there, there will be a, oh, you guys might be talking about different things. So there is a JBL one of these um, smart displays that will have two speakers on the side. There is another JBL product coming that has Google Assistant, a smart a sound bar, and the Android, oper Android TV operating system built in one. So I'll most likely get the one that has like the Android operating system, the Android TV fully built in with Google Assistant. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to pick up the Lenovo one. Um, we'll see, maybe I could get JBL to give it to me. I did buy this one though, because I really wanted to try it out. Um, can it take pictures? No, it can't take pictures. It does have the camera right here, so that it can do video recording, but there are no picture taking abilities. Um, can it play games? I haven't seen any like touchscreen games. You can play the same games you would have played on the Google Home, like the mystery games or the trivia games. Those are available on here. How far away is the moon? The moon is 238,900 miles from Earth. There you go, shows a little image up here. And then down here at the bottom, it does show recommendations on other things that you could ask. And I can just tap to select that instead of um, asking it. 54.6 million kilometers. So on that, the website space.com, they say. 
So there I selected what about Mars. So it is 54 million kilometers. Um, it's gonna take a while for us to get there. We've hit one hour, holy cow. Well, this uh, is definitely the longest stream that I have ever done here on Tech with Brett. So thank all of you for joining me today. Um, what about the kids page again? I want to let my kids know. Can you show us the settings of it? So there's not really a kids page. There are different kids games that you could play. So I could ask it to play like Mickey Mouse Adventure or you could play other games like there's one called Freeze Dance. Let's actually see what that does. Play Freeze Dance. So there's it's just the going to, to pop up the music. Um, I do have a video called Kids Ask Google Home where my kids ask a bunch of things to the Google Home. Um, I even made one with my baby um, of how I use it in the baby's room. And so there's all kinds of different things. They've made like 50 different supported commands that kids can use. And there'll be a new feature where they will need to say please and thank you. And Google will acknowledge that and give them a good response um, so that they can work on teaching them manners. So um, that's pretty much it for uh, one more question here. Does it have headphone jack? There is no headphone jack on this device. Um, there's just the mute switch, the camera shutter that you can turn the camera on and off, and then you have volume controls up here on the top and the bottom. You can rotate it this way, but it doesn't do anything. It doesn't rotate the screen. That's just for if you're doing a video call. And there again is the home screen, and then we can go back to our pictures right here. All right, that is it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe so that I can teach you more about all kinds of technology. Um, I'm gonna be bringing more videos all about this, the Google Home, your smartphone. So if you have any further questions, let me know in the comments below if you're watching this after the live stream and uh, hit me up on all the social networks. Come follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, search at Tech with Brett and you'll find me there. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Wah, wah, wah.